Hi, Zeus here. I had another awesome day in Warships, and with a four times win streak, got my level 19 chest after winning my level 19 boss battle. I'm now 135 in the world and number 25 in the United States, and I want to show you my boss battle and also a five engine battle against a higher ranked player. So I've won three in a row, and I'm gonna try one eternity later to win my level 19 boss battle. The joke about the eternity is that it takes forever to find an opponent when you're this high up on the global leaderboard. So this guy's got a base very similar to mine, although he's got differences in where the defenses are placed and where the mines are placed, but it's the same basic concept. So what I'm looking for here are places where I can throw critters to distract that boom cannon because the boom cannon can take out a lot of tanks along the way before I can address it. I'm not so concerned about the cannon because the cannon can get killed pretty fast. So I threw critters down on that machine gun, but the critters didn't last very long because the machine gun died so fast and then the flamethrower killed them, so that didn't really work out so well. But threw down a, a, uh, a shock to, to stop the boom cannon. Now a little concerned about the, the bombardier going around the left side, so I'm going to take out the mines there with one critter box. And as we address that group of three cannons, I'm going to put down a shock on the left and hopefully that one MVP bombardier can take down the left side boom cannon while the tanks distract it. I'm going to throw the next shock down on that group of four, two cannons and two boom cannons. And look at that, the MVP bombardier took down the left side boom cannon. Now I just need something to distract those two boom cannons. And now I have the gunboat energy to put a shock down on the last boom cannon. So this is going really well. Now my opponent is finished. I don't remember if I started first or he started first. But you know, my time's pretty good. It's coming down to two minutes and nine seconds. Not a great time, but against that style of base, it's actually a really good time. Awesome, I won. And I get 15 points because of my win streak and my level 19 boss battle chest. This is really super cool because with that chest, I'm going to be able to open up the third building damage node which is the one just before the fifth engine. And then I'm also going to be able to upgrade a couple of things which are really important. Now I'm number 135 in the world and number 25 in the United States and far and away number one in the Red Hot Ledge Task Force. Now I'm going to show you next the, the battle I fought two battles ago against a high ranked player who had five engines. And I spent a ton of time scouting this base before I started and changed up my style of play. I put two tanks down on the right landing area because there was a boom cannon I was concerned about. And then I had the rest of the troops deployed rather conventionally along the same lines of how I'm doing four engines. I found a great spot to hang some critters on a shock mine and then with one shock was able to take down the boom cannon with those critters distracting. And at this point, I'm just trying to get my tanks to clear the mines so my bombardiers don't die. And I'm going to have to throw out another critter box there to take out a bunch of mines there. And hopefully my tanks will go a little left and take out that last group of mines because I'm out of gunboat energy. And unfortunately, three of my bombardiers hit that shock mine. But it was still good enough to win. He... My opponent had a lot of trouble on my base. Okay, so these are the things that I never opened or never upgraded. I never got flare or heavy, did not upgrade 
Rifleman or Zuka. I never got any of the heroes or the boom mine. Uh, I have not upgraded the health pack, but that, I gotta say that's a bit of a problem because my bombardiers are dying on mines and it takes two health packs to rescue a bombardier, which is a ton of gunboat energy. I have my critter box on level four, my shotgun level two. I haven't really had problems with the shocks running out, so I'm not as concerned about that. I think tick two at the moment is the right place to go. So I'm gonna open up this building damage node, but instead of spending the keys on it, I think it can be more impactful at this point if I spend a couple of upgrade tokens on the critter box and the health pack. And I'm gonna hit the health pack twice so that one health pack brings a bombardier up to full health and in the future i'm going to need to upgrade the building damage and that shock anyway back on uh, my base i want to show you this base design is really excellent i've got a group of mines trying to prevent players coming in from the right landing craft and i've got a bunch of mines on the left trying to prevent players from going around my initial group of defenses to the left there. And I'm having trouble with warriors, so I've put some mines back behind the engines there. Now, meanwhile, my main base, I'm at 1,811 victory points, which is good enough for Global 22, and I'm still number, number one in the United States. I've been on the Global Leaderboard on the main base for about four months now. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We've got over 180 videos on a variety of Boom Beach topics, and please give a like to this video because that will help us build our channel. Thank you, as always, to Hercules for help with the video editing.